And I'm Michael here on Queen Anne Hill. I'll be your host du jour for the night. And on evening here, we often try to introduce you to people who collect stuff. They're always kind of fascinating. Tonight, no exception. We're going to go to a secret location to find a collector who has stuff so rare, very few people have ever seen it. It's never been on TV before until now. Here's Saint. Most people start a collection for fun, but Seattle resident Richard Berger accidentally made it a career. It's not something that my high school guidance counselor recommended as a career path. It was while on sabbatical from medical school in the late 1960s that Richard came face to face with his future. Ran into some prospectors in Wyoming and saw my first crystals and it was like my world changed. I, I didn't know what I was looking at. I, I was so powerfully impacted by it. And I'm going, there's something here for me. Over those decades, Richard amassed a collection he calls Masterpieces of the Earth. Some consider it to be the finest private collection of giant natural crystals and other Earth-made artifacts in the world. So this is a, a typical size of a crystal, that's, of crystals that are collected around the world. And this is the scale of the pieces that this collection represents. This is a giant quartz crystal cluster from what's currently Arkansas. This is 180 to 200 million years. This is a 6,000 pound African quartz cluster from Namibia, Southwest Africa. And it's one of the oldest giant crystals in the world. It dates back 520 million years. The earliest dinosaurs go back about 270 million years. These were found in a sand quarry in Fontainebleau, France. And they're two million year old sculptures that were formed by water. And the water was swirling over itself and in a, literally in, in moments solidified and turned itself into stone. This is a 3,800 pound amethyst cave from southern Brazil, and it was discovered in an ancient volcano. It doesn't really get any better than that. It's, it's ex exquisite color. This is the finest piece of its kind in the world. It's nearly 14 feet high, and it's uh, a snapshot of life in the seas 52 million years ago, actually freshwater sea, out of Wyoming, which was subtropical. So you have a palm leaf surrounded by an entire school of fish. Now Richard wants to share his one-of-a-kind collection with the world. He's hoping a buyer will acquire the collection and put it on display in a planetarium-like setting, preferably right here in the Northwest. There's quite a number of people interested in China and Las Vegas and some interest now in London for this collection, but it would be extraordinary to have it here as a permanent fixture in Seattle as a destination site, which I think would become a world destination site. So while artists can try as they might, Richard says nothing can compare to the Earth-made beauty only time can create. They go back millions of years, from long before like humans even walked the Earth, and they're here now. I would like one of those in my living room. If you would like the rocks in your living room, you can buy Richard's collection. Go to king5.com to find out how.